Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just some brief announcements. I am going to do a giveaway uh, because I want to thank all my subscribers for how, for just pretty much how far I've come. So I'm going to do a giveaway where I'm going to give away uh, tarot cards, um, just a deck of tarot cards and uh, some crystals to a winner. And then the other person, I'm going to give away some incense and crystals. So um, if you would like to enter that giveaway, uh, just uh, comment below. And other than that, um, so... I hope everybody has been having a great Halloween, had a great Halloween, and this is going to be a reading for Taurus, November 1st through the 6th. There is hundreds and millions of Tauruses out there, so this is not going to be every single Taurus' story, okay? Also, feel free to swap around the energies. I could always be talking to a cross-watcher or someone that you're dealing with, okay? And there's no such thing as gender in tarot, so you could swap around the gender as well. All right, let's get started. Taurus, November 1st to the 6th. Two more shuffles, Taurus, November 1st to the 6th. I hope I said everything I needed to say. One last shuffle, Taurus, November 1st to the 6th. Okay, Taurus, destiny. So you could be on the right path right now, uh, even if you feel like you're lost. Um, yeah, you. it may be due to your finances, kind of. Honestly, if you have lost everything, that's the first step to gaining everything. I know it sounds crazy, but that's the way it works. You see, fulfillment of wishes. Um, if you lost all your finances, you feel like, you know, you just stuck in a rut. Let me tell you, you're ascending, okay? If you feel like crap, you're awakening, you're ascending. I, I know it's this weird, twisted... I mean, sometimes it's not that bad, right? Um, but some, but most of the time, that is the case. <laughs> you know, you just feel horrible. Um, okay, so right off the bat, what I have here is... You could be withdrawing from a lot of people, a lot of situations right now, just to focus on your stability, on your independence. And although you are bored, like I said, you may be feeling alone. Um, you're moving forward in a positive direction here, okay? This has a lot to do with you learning how to be content on your own. It may be shadow work here because you're facing yourself. And with the tower card here... Uh, exactly. It's a huge change for you because, you know, you're going towards your destiny. But I mind you, there might be a few obstacles and challenges in regards to people. People, you know, not believing um, that you can. And you have to kind of go against people that are saying they're just haters. They're just naysayers. Everybody has a purpose in this life. And sometimes some people's purpose is to hold you back, is to throw you off, you know, to make you doubt uh, take it how it resonates, guys, and also feel free to swap it around. This could be, you know, someone that you're dealing with that is going through this. But I feel like this is more for you, Taurus. Okay, so November 1st to the 6th. Let me do one more shuffle, Taurus. November 1st to the 6th. Yeah, see, I saw Four of Pentacles and the Tower card. So lots of changes are in store for you. Okay, you may be choosing to invest your time and your money in better situations that better serve you. You're done with the inconsistency in your life. You see the devil, the toxicity, you know, whether it's you who's kind of um, saying something and not keeping your word at it, right? Maybe you told um, somebody you were going to do something for them and you didn't, you know, that's the toxic things about you that you're learning to change because it's selfish. Or this could be the person that you're dealing with. You know, they're very inconsistent, very in and out of your life. And you're learning to hold back from this person because you're realizing that it's toxic. You know, one day here, the next day gone, one day here. Like that is wishy-washy. It is bipolar. It's toxic. Uh, so what is this emotional withdrawal card for Taurus? Yeah, so you may be emotionally withdrawn. You could also be uh, withdrawing from an Aquarius here. But with the star card, I feel like you're keeping the faith. In regards to life situations here, uh, you're learning to develop this sense of peace, okay? Even if you're feeling lost, like I said, you're on the right path here. Okay, so what's the discontent and boredom here for Taurus? And the positive, yeah, so this could be in regards to love in general. It doesn't necessarily have to be a breakup here. Just love in general. Um, you're not happy about your love life right now. Take it out, resonate, guys. It could be a breakup here but honestly what it feels like it's just your love life in general you know you could have had a lot of you know people that weren't the best for you here you see positive movement forward you might feel emotionally exhausted from trying to you know start a successful relationship with the king of pentacles here on top of the um, positive movement forward maybe i should move this over for you guys you guys can anyways so uh, maybe the future readings. I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, so, you know, positive movement forward here. You're ending cycles, okay? You're closing out situations, again, that don't serve your highest highest, um, highest good. And with the Six of Cups here, it could be in regards to a past person, someone you have a lot of history with, could be a childhood sweetheart. 
But with the Six of Cups, that's learning how to have equal give and take, equal relationships where they help you when you need help and vice versa. You help them when they need help. So what is this shadow work here? Yeah, again, you having to become the change that you want to see, right? And um, with the Tower card, I mean, the uh, Wheel of Fortune here, this is old cycles closing so new ones can come in. Uh, let me see the Disruption card for Taurus, November 1st to the 6th. And feel free to swap it around. It just feels more like it's, um, you see, yeah, nine of, pen, nine of Cups here. Wish fulfillment again. So you're moving forward in a positive direction. Even if you don't feel like you're on the right path, um, even if it involved a breakup here that you had to, it hurts you to put yourself first, to cut certain people off and like, you know what, you're no good for me. Um, this is all going to pay off in the end. Honestly, what it looks like here is it was for a reason. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles here, you may feel like everything is falling apart, but the Ten of Pentacles has a lot to do with family, its balance, its stability, its success. I honestly feel like things, like I always say, they're not falling apart, they're falling into place. Okay? Let me do another shuffle for Taurus. Any more messages? Yeah, so in the past, you could have been kind of incompatible with the soulmate here. You could have been trying to offer something to somebody that was very closed off. And there's some patience needed here. Could be a Leo as well. Um, because I just feel like King of Cups, you know, there's some stability, some maybe work you need to do on yourself. Um, that way they too can love you. Um, it's just a lot of patience and planning here. There's, a, there's lots of towers, lots of towers, okay? Um, it's just, you could also be dealing with the Gemini here. I feel like, honestly, if this was a breakup here, um, it, it kind of needed to happen. That way you could learn to work on how you um, are representing yourself, um, you know, how you're coming across. You might be coming across as someone who's not that serious. And uh, with the King of Pentacles here, you know, I feel like you're going to be choosing to work on yourself, you know, withdraw. And it's going to make this person take you more seriously, okay? See, with the Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles here, it's like somebody's going to learn to look at look at it and kind of be like, well, I could have been successful with Taurus. You know, take it out, resonates, guys. Feel free to stop it around, right? But um, with the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, it's also like, um, kind of like, you know, where you're, once you start reaching the successful point in your life, you know, you're going to look back and you're going to be like, you know, do I really want this person? And with the ten, king of wands here on the shadow side, I feel like this person, once you start to withdraw with the king of wands here, they're going to start to be more, I have to have them. You know, that's what the king of wands is. Someone who's not afraid to chase their dreams. Who is this king of pentacles, king of wands? Another card for Taurus, please. And we have two tens here. We have three tens here. Ten, ten, and ten, which is also one, one, and one. So you could be seeing that a lot, Taurus. Uh, November 1st to the 6th. Any more messages for Taurus? See, you could have been messaging with somebody here that you guys broke up in the past. Um, with the Six of Cups here, it was very stagnant. It didn't seem to be going anywhere. Um, you guys were probably both kind of stuck in uh, you guys' head about each other. Or it could have just been one of you guys. Take it out of resonance. But with the Six of Wands... It was a very passionate connection, but again, I feel like someone started to look at things from a different perspective, recognize their worth, and want something more serious. Could be a Pisces as well. Things are not what they seem, though, because maybe someone realized this situation cannot grow if this person is so closed off, you know? In the world card, this was cycles of somebody kind of um, just around for a good time, not a long time. That's what the Page of Wands is to me. It's somebody who's very childlike, you know, they... Um, they have great ideas, but they might not reach, you know, they might not actually complete that idea. Like, you know, have an idea about a YouTube channel, but not, might not ever make it, you know, type of thing. You know, has an idea about starting some sort of career, but they don't do it, you know. And this could have been cycles that you could have been going in with this person or they were going in with you. Um, and with the Ten of Wands, now that's four tens, guys. One, 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 and one. Anyways, um, there's just... Okay, things have to fall apart so it could fall together in a better foundation, okay? Let's see, Taurus, November 1st through the 6th. See, we have addiction. Somebody could be dealing with addictions. They just, let me see, Taurus, November 1st through the 6th. I'm just going to be quiet. <laughs> One more shuffle, Taurus, November 1st through the 6th. Wedding ring, see, union. I feel like it's an everlasting promise. So even if you guys were married or even dealing with twin flame energy, even if you guys are separated, 
the love still is there, okay? With the lover's card upside down, this was a strong soul connection. It just could have been at the wrong time that you guys met, okay? Um, I feel like you're coming into union with yourselves, and that's what's kind of changing the whole situation. So what happened on the tower card? We have clarity and truth. So you're starting to realize, you know, someone is just very closed off. The chaser, you know, maybe this is you that's chasing them or they're always chasing you. And, you know, it's codependent. Ascending right here. Like I said, guys, ascending. Okay, so it's a new phase, preparing for union, learning, expansion, transcending obstacles. And we even have here camera, reminiscing. So someone is learning from the past. Someone is remembering the good times between you guys. That's what the Six of Cups is here as well, Taurus. Another Taurus, November 1st or the 6th. See, finances. Your finances are going to be changing, okay? So there's just a lot of completion of cycles here, and your finances improving as well. One more shuffle, Taurus, November 1st to the 6th. See, we have motivation at the bottom of the deck. And maybe that's what it is. You know, someone is now motivated to work on their life. You know, becoming at a sense of peace with your love life, even though you're still kind of upset about it. Like, you know, I can't find someone worth it for right now. Um, you're moving forward in a positive direction. And I feel like this person is going to be changing. Windfall here is um, major changes in money. We even have retirement here. So that could be for some of you guys as well. See, self-care. This had to happen so you could learn to work on yourself. And we have finances here on top of the Page of Wands, the World card, and the Lover's card. This could have been cycles all due to money. You could be dealing with somebody that has been kind of holding you back in your money because you're so emotionally invested in this connection. Feel free to swap it around. Take it how it resonates, okay? Don't attack the messenger. And then see windfall. And because you're learning to withdraw and focus some of that attention on you, self-care, you know, you're, you're going to have major money coming in. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it off here. If this helped you guys out, you know what? Let me just get um, messages from your person. Let me try to get a card out. Taurus, November 1st through the 6th. One more shuffle, November 1st through the 6th. See, I wish things could be different. I feel you even though we are apart. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and close it off here. Okay? If this helped you guys out in any way, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Please take care of yourselves. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Okay. Yeah. Bye.